Looking up to one of the classic chemistry experiments books, I stumbled upon the chemical jungle experiment. They refer to it as a jungle and not a garden, presumably due to the irregular shape plant-like chemical structures. Well, I actually prefer to call it an aquarium. To prepare the water glass solution of sodium silicate, I tried to follow this recipe, dissolving 32 grams of sodium hydroxide to 80 milliliters of water, followed by 16 grams of powdered silicon dioxide. And although I heated up the solution, the silica could not be dissolved. So after that, I repeated the experiment using a different protocol with 48 grams of silica gel beads after dissolving 32 grams of sodium hydroxide to 160 milliliters of water. However, the orange moisture indicator turned the solution dark pinkish red and therefore unsuitable for the chemical aquarium experiment. Now I had to get an indicator-free silica gel and I found this one in eBay, which is really suitable because the gel beads have really small diameter. After gel beads dissolved in the sodium hydroxide solution, I filtered the solution to obtain a more transparent aquarium later on. I considered this as a 2.5 times concentrated water glass solution. So, to prepare 50 milliliters of working solution, I diluted 20 milliliters of water glass with 30 milliliters of water, mix them thoroughly, and put them into a small plastic container. Salts initially used were nickel nitrate, ferric chloride, manganese sulfate, cobalt chloride, and aluminum chloride. For better results, salts were clamped by adding a drop of water and mixing. So, let's start dropping the salts in the diluted sodium silicate solution to see what we'll get. Very quickly, you see some of the metal salts sprawling protrusions. That are mostly directed upwards. Consistently, some salts such as ferric chloride or cobalt chloride develop stalks and branches faster than the others. But what is the mechanism underlying chemical aquarium? Some of the outermost ions are dissolved in the silicate solution, but some other metal ions react with silicates to produce metal silicates, which form a semi-permeable membrane engulfing the rest of the crystal. The higher salt concentration inside the membrane causes the rush of water molecules from outside to inside due to differences in osmotic pressure. The excess of water molecules then pushes the membrane outwards, therefore expanding the growing silicate crystal. More salt is dissolved in the extra water, causing additional water molecules to rush inside 
And this goes on and on. These seaweed-like formations expand upwards, presumably to the direction of decreasing hydrostatic pressure, giving the impression of an aquarium full of life. It's pretty impressive and that's why I was tempted to experiment with macrovideoscopy using some extension rings in my camera. And, and this is the result.